Philippine story we first brought you at midday. 126 people have been arrested in an online sting looking for child predators, but the search is now on for some who are still at large. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live with the very latest. Brandon? Yeah, hi there, Jonathan. So of those arrests, they span eight counties throughout our area. Some of those arrested for sharing porn with one another online. Most of them, though, arrested on allegations that they reached out to children on online social media sites like Facebook, particularly through the messaging app, including one man who's been charged, but tonight is still on the run. You're looking at an old mug shot of 22-year-old William Alvarado. This time around, there's another arrest warrant out on his name issued Tuesday. The charge, continued sexual abuse of a child. Allegedly abusing two sisters who are 12-year-old twins. One of the twins met this guy online and they started chatting in September. They talked for nearly a month before he was able to arrange a first meeting at their home where they let him in through the bedroom window. Alvarado, dozens others caught through a sting, Operation Broken Hearts 3. They are preying on the children in our communities, and that's why we, we do what we do. HPD, Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office, Montgomery County District Attorney's Office, several other agencies present to announce the results. Fort Bend Sheriff's Office shot this video of several busts. Law enforcement getting people who prey on children online off the street. Kids under, under the age of one are already swiping screens on tablets. That's part of the challenge, officials say, evolving technology, keeping up with it. As for how to curb online child solicitation? Here's how I'm going to get to your kid. Montgomery County District Attorney Brett Ligon says parents have to keep up. The answer, he says, cannot be more police. It shouldn't be more government. It should be more parent. Because you can pull that phone out and you can tap in the password. And back here live officials say they're going to do their best to stay on top of this to continue operations or stings of the like. This one paid for by way of a grant through the Department of Justice. When asked how big of a problem this is throughout our area, officials said it was a huge one. We're live tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.